We don't have time to flip our flower. I'm highly offended that you don't remember. I remember. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Hi, my name is Sammy Lynn. And I'm Tara Lynn. And, and we're, we're the Shenanigans. Today we're doing another cooking video! Yay. Yay. Today is Halloween themed because it's Halloween. It's not just Halloween themed. We're making pumpkin stuff. The recipe will be in the description. We're each gonna make one thing of these. Pumpkin chocolate chip bars. Hopefully they turn out good. At least hopefully one of them turns out good. I kind good. of have faith in this recipe. I think even we can handle this. Race that go! It's a test? No. <laughs> I was... What was no. it? <laughs> Is that, I think that's a word. But that's how I felt. If, if <laughs> Lamuxin isn't a word, it needs to be because that's how I felt right there. I'll get the 9 by 13 pans. Both ovens are ready. This is close enough to a 9 by 13. That is not close to a 9 by 13, Mom. Sure it is. Do you want to see what a 9 by 13 looks like? No, this is a 9 by 13. That's a 9 by 9 or 8 by 8. 8 by 8. Where do you see that? Oh, I see it. 8 by 8. This one's a 9 by 13. See that? Tier 9 by 13. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. We're going to set this aside. We have a plethora of measuring cups. You grease the pans and I'll do the other stuff. I'll start the mixing and you start the greasing. Two cups of flour. We don't have enough space for all of this. On these Pampered Chef stone things, do you still have to grease them? I don't know, whatever. One cup. My technique for greasing is softened butter and a hip towel. I need a cup. You know these measure cups, right? I'm afraid that that's gonna be wrong. It's a measuring cup. It smells like fried chicken in here. <laughs> Fried chicken, the butter. All right, I got two cups of flour in each of them, so I'm going places. I have two greased pans. Yay! We're going places, Mom. We're going places. We're going places, Sammy. Do one of the other baking. I'm doing pumpkin spice. pie spice, so you do baking. Soda. I got baking soda. Oh, this smells good. It does smell good. I feel like I'm gonna open this, and it's gonna. It's like mac and cheese, you know. Right. Like seriously, who can actually open the mac and cheese box the way it says to? The Kraft mac and cheese. I am not allowed to use knives. She's not allowed to use knives. It's, it's like true. It's pathetic and true. Pathetic. But at least I'm I know sure. my limitations. Dad knows your limitations. At least my husband knows my limitations. One teaspoon. I don't know what to do with this. Do I open it all What are all you then? doing? That's where I said to open it. <laughs> One teaspoon, not tablespoon. A tablespoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking soda, very, very different. I can stir, I can stir, I got it. Cream butter and sugar until light cream? and fluffy. Oh, like we cream need a beater. <clears throat> cream is just like this, like just smush them. Uh, we don't have enough space for all of this. So we're starting with putting the butter in. I feel like this is mixed up appropriately. Butter. That's Mom! I like these videos, they're fun. We need one cup of sugar. Do you want me to do it? No! You do what's next. What are you doing? You're wasting sugar. Hold it. Okay, you start squishing that one and trade me, give me that. I squish. Oh, how do you squish? I don't know. Maybe you might need a better squishing utensil. I try. It's not just me. Sugar. Woo. And I will start. Smooshing is hard, Mom. Smooshing. I'm just warning you. These probably aren't the best smooshing Smush. utensils. This is like better than going to the gym. Not that I go to the gym. <laughs> this is better than going to the gym. I agree. I feel like I'm getting a workout. I think we should cook more than. I don't think we're doing this correctly. <laughs> we're just smushing. I feel like there's a better technique for this. Number one would have been to soften the butter. I more. thought this was going to be easy. It's because the butter is not really that soft. Is mine smushed in there? I don't really know. I'm adding whatever's next. Until light and fluffy. They're not going to get light and fluffy from this, Mom. Maybe cream does mean the mixer. I told you. Okay, get the mixer out. Is there a setting on mixer for cream? It's been used once. We decided that... Smushing is not the best option. Oh, it says cream, there butter. There is no cream. It's just one, two, three, four, five. Cream, butter, and sugar until light and fluffy. So the smushing was not a success. <laughs> no. Whoa, what is that? Why is that? This is going to be light and fluffy? I don't know. I think it'll get light and fluffy. Is it light and fluffy Yes, now? it's good, it's good, it's good. Do you know 
trick on how to get that off? No. Just go faster and it lifts it off. See? Better. You actually know like a cooking trick? I watched my mom. Look, I taught you something. Everybody, you need to watch this video and then comment. Tell us what other stuff you want us to make or like find recipes and then link them for us. Because we literally spent like forever to figure out which one we were going to do because our last one we messed up because they didn't have arrowroot flour at the store. I don't even know what arrowroot is. I feel like it's a vegetable. Or a root. This you just mix. Egg. Egg. Vanilla. Two teaspoons. That seems like a lot of vanilla. I like vanilla. It's I do tasty. too. Not by itself, but in stuff like this, lots of vanilla is tasty. One smush, and whatever dribbled smush, in there. Smush, smush, smush. Smush, 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 smush. It seems very liquidy. Smush it all together. Mix it all together. <laughs> and you know that it's the best of both worlds. She's a little obsessed with Hannah Montana. Yeah, I love it. Still. Mine looks good. I'm beating pumpkin! It kind of smells like carrots. Oh my god, it does. Did you accidentally get carrots? Pumpkin. <laughs> it looks like baby poo. <laughs> mix well, then beat in pumpkin. I'm gonna mix. Do you add the dry mixture to the wet? You'll pour that in here and I'll keep mixing that. So this is what it looks like right now. It looks kind of gross. I feel like I it's still can. chunky. Like it's too chunky. Like little chunks, yeah. Pour some in. Okay. Mix it, mama. Woo! Oh! <laughs> it's looking better. Got a little wild on that last one. Too wild. You wild. Pour it all in. Again, arm workout. It doesn't look like chunky anymore. No, it looks good now. Yeah, I'm sure it tastes much better. Okay, that's good. These are good. <laughs> Red batter evenly. Bake for 30 minutes. Mix Except your for 82. This is something you can do. Mix it. This is hard. I spread it out evenly. I feel like this is going to be tasty. When I was looking for recipes, there were a bunch that had cream cheese in them, but I didn't use those ones because I know you don't like cream cheese. I love cream cheese in baking recipes, so you can oh feel free to use goodness, those. Oh my goodness, Because what is cheesecake, wrong? honey, is cream cheese. Oh, you love cheesecake. <laughs> I know. What even is Halloween? I don't really know. It's all Saints Eve, all Hallows Eve. I'm not really sure. Mine's ready. I'm gonna try it. It is good. All right, now they're cooking. <laughs> Our pumpkin bars are done, we think. The recipe said to tell that they're done, they're coming away from the sides a little bit, and they both are, so we think that's good. But it also said take a toothpick and see if it's we what have it looks a like very in the large toothpick. <laughs> we don't have any toothpicks, so we're using a barbecue skewer. But it works, right? And they both look good. Here is what the bars look like. Oh god, oh my god, you scare me. You scare me, you scare me! <laughs> they look good. We were talking to someone and they said, is it pumpkin bars with cream cheese icing? And this was our face. And we're like, what? I, what? What do you mean? So the recipe doesn't say anything about any frosting or icing. Oh well, we're gonna try them without frosting and icing. If you love chocolate chip bars and kind of like pumpkin, mm. this might be up your alley. So if you're looking for a real pumpkin-y taste, this is not the recipe for you. Maybe we're better bakers than we thought. Well... Or, probably more likely, maybe we can follow a recipe better than we thought. Can I 
I think this one was a success. Thank you for watching. We appreciate all of the subscribers. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, there's um, something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. You just haven't come around yet. But hit the subscribe button below. Everybody comes around. Uh, we have a bunch of fun things planned. Join the Shenanigans team. We'll see you next time. Bye.